testing the quality of my audio on my phone. Welcome to my blog debut. Oh money, I'm making a vlog. It's called the dog vlog. And I'm making a vlog. This is my theme song for my vlog. I'm blogging from the comfort of my own bed because I'm in isolation. And today I'm here to tell you the story of how Stephanie and I became best friends. It's really true that we are best friends. When I was about 16 years old, I used to date this guy who was Steph's little brother's best friend. And I used to smoke weed at his house. And it was the kind of situation where you just stay in his room and you don't really leave. But I knew that there was a sister and she was kind of like an urban legend and everyone was like, Sandin's sister, she used to be, you know, and blah, 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 blah. So Steph had just got out of rehab and she was having this weird stage where she only wore wigs and watched Paris is Burning every day. And I was just a weirdo in high school and her family owned a bakery which her and her brother worked in. And then one day my ex-boyfriend Alex was like, Steph, I'm bringing my friend over. Can you please be nice to her? And Steph was like, what the fuck? I don't care, okay? And then one day I had a fight with this girl at school. I think her name was Jacinta because I stole pee plates of someone else's car and she jumped through the window and ran over to the fence and was like through the fence. And she's like, you stole Emily's pee plates. Da -da 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 -da. And I was like, bye Jacinta and just drove off. And then I had a fight with this girl and I stormed into the bakery and I was like, fucking Jacinta, blah, 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 blah. And I was wearing a chain earring from my nose to my ear and a Ganesh shirt. And Steph was just like, who the fuck is this girl? Um, and then I met Steph, we didn't really say hello because I was obviously just scared of her. And then I just kept smoking weed with the boys and every now and then Steph would call me into her room with all of these clothes and she would be like, I have all of these things. Do you want to try them on? You can have them. I don't want them anymore. And I would be so stoned that I would be like nervous and I'd be like, <laughs> Yeah, I'll buy this one. <laughs> and then I would go back into her room and her brother would be like, you seemed pretty uncomfortable back there. And I'd be like, shut up, Sandin. And then, um, and then my friendship group was a little bit cooked and it slowly fell apart. But Steph kept in contact with, she hit me up to buy drugs a few times. And then one time I asked her to help me move a shelf because I was fighting with my mum and I needed to move to my dad's house and I needed my shelf. And then one day Steph invited me over to make collages and I was like, why does this girl want to hang out with me? She was 21 and I was 16. There's seven years apart from us. Yeah, seven or five. Cause I'm 23 and she's 27. So that's the fuck, that's only four years. Five, I don't know. Um, where was I? Yeah, she invited me over for collages 
And then we had a great day and she set it up all nice and it was cool and I took photos and we made all these collages. Some of them I still have. And then we just hung out more. And then she moved to Byron Bay where she's from. And I broke up with one of my exes. And I just kind of called her one day and was like, hey, can I move into your spare room? And she was like, yeah. And then um, I moved into the house in Byron Bay. And then it was on. And then I lived there for like three months. And now it's been seven years. And we've only really had like three fights. And the first one was about how to write a, a, an address on an envelope. So we're doing pretty well. Mephany, I'm doing our vlog about a friendship. Do you have anything in particular that you would like to say? Um. I don't really, I just woke up and it's like some fucking possessed ghost come and threw up everywhere in my fucking bathroom. Like, I don't know what the hell happened. I swear maybe I have some fucked up curse thing. Like, first with the slugs, now with the bathroom has exploded and there is like liquidy, vomity looking shit everywhere and i just woke up to this and i don't know what happened for my next vlog i will tell a story about when i stepped in my client's poo subscribe